What's up, Lions fans? <laughs> I think that's how he would say it, but what's good, y'all? This is the homie, Eric, a Lions fan. Eric Brenner. I've been coming I've been coming through a lot of his videos. You know, he talks about he talks about a variety of things. This one came across my radar. I don't know how I missed this one, but uh he did his uh Mass Stafford hate video. And uh, you know, just feels good to hear somebody else's point of view besides mine. Particularly when it comes to the logic and objectivity of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, like I said, look. People are entitled to feel how they feel, but you know, let's have some logic and objectivity about shit as well, as you gonna hear. Now, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna just react on a couple of points he gonna make. I'm not gonna play the whole video. I really want to contaminate this video about kind of why I'm not using my setup in my, uh, in my kind of my computer room or my my business area, kind of whatever you kind of want to make it out to be. But anyway. Kind of we're going to really talk about why is there so much hate for Matthew Stafford on here. And we kind of got to go back in time here a little bit, back to last year when Matt Patricia was with the team uh, at the beginning of uh, training camp. Well, kind of right there at the beginning of training camp, we were hearing grumblings of, man, this is hard. Uh, the coach, yeah. We shouldn't be being coached this way, kind of all that sort of stuff. But Mike, well, ended up being that Matt Patricia at the time, was kind of doing pretty hard practices on here. He was trying to get the team toughened up, um, and it kind of really didn't translate to wins and losses and all that. It uh, actually did translate to losses. <laughs> fired on Thanksgiving, a couple of days after the Thanksgiving Day game where they got decimated, I think. Houston, uh, Texas, I, I believe. They played last year. Somebody will come in here and tell me who they played. But anyway, they got decimated, and they told Matt, Patricia, thanks for your services, but you're gone. Uh, and that time they had a little bit of an intern right in there. Well, Kind of going all through this. Just imagine the perfect online business. Kind of going all through this. Uh, Quadri Diggs uh, got traded to Seattle. Qu uh, Darius Slay got traded to uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, which that's where he's at now. And a couple of other kind of team, a couple of other people kind of went away. Uh, A. Sean Robinson isn't with the team anymore. He's with the L.A. Rams. Yeah, the Rams. I believe he's with the L.A. Rams. I think I see his jersey out there. I could be wrong. Uh, and then you have Matthew Stafford, obviously, them parted ways. Uh, and then you have Marvin Jones uh, said he didn't want to come back. And uh, the biggest thing to me in the uh, kind of get. I'm going to pause this for a second to get this out. And, you know, anybody that knows me, y'all know Marvin Jones. That's my guy. You know, I love Marvin. I wish him the best as well. But, Marvin, you really like an idiot. and You're like an ass in this. The reason why I say that. You left one rebuild to go to another one. That didn't make no damn sense. And you could have went to Los Angeles with Stafford. Or you could have went to the Colts. I mean, when do you give a fuck about winning at some point? But that's just me. Let's carry on. And then you have Marvin Jones uh, said he didn't want to come back. And uh, the biggest thing to me and the uh, kind of get, what gets under my skin, and I don't know why people are even not talking about this, is... Kenny Galladay just kind of seems to be setting out that last three halfway three quarters of the season because he had an injury and then he kind of starts and kind of plays for I think he, I want to say for the New York Giants. Uh, so my my thing to the people out there and I'll kind of come into to why I'm making this video here in a minute is why aren't we talking about those guys either? They were the big part of the uh, of the equation to why the Detroit Lions are the way they are right now. They're pretty much a talentless team. And one kind of specific YouTuber kind of made a video about, and he's kind of made videos about this before, how he, uh, Matthew Stafford is kind of now the enemy. Now, he knows who he is, and we've kind of talked about it. Uh, yeah, I probably know who he's talking about as well. But anyway, yeah. Another side note, Kenny Galladay, thank you. Well, apparently, Eric was on him too, or spoke on it. King might have spoke on it, I don't know. But other than that, besides myself, Man Beast Morris, and Jay Jefferson, y'all wasn't calling Kenny Galladay out. None of y'all. That's who quit on the goddamn team. Not a person that played 12 years and decided he wanted to go elsewhere. Kenny Galladay shut it down up, shut it down on us at like the third part of the season somewhat. Just like he said, I was calling him out on that as well. I believe I was the first one calling him out on that. But anyway, let's continue. My thing is, hey, Matthew Stafford to me, 
wanted to be gone, requested a trade because he knew the team was going to be.